having some tea. It's about 10 degrees in here. And we left late around 12.30. Kenny had to work. I think he's going to be here till, I think he's taking off Monday morning. Maybe Sunday, he said. He's not sure. So basically the weekend. And just about to go uh, and get a jug of water for for the night. Gonna have some uh, moose tacos tonight, and I don't know what's happening tomorrow. Not gonna go too far. He's just here though for the weekend, so uh, maybe we'll go get some wood tomorrow. And if he's gonna be here till Monday, maybe we'll find to go check this big Martin line out and I'm feeling normal. in a bit here but we have the solar generator so no worries and we'll make a plan tonight I guess for tomorrow morning we're just having our moose tacos oh my god I had one and they were so good And he's going out to start his sled and I'm just cleaning up after breakfast. We'll go fire mine up right away. Good start. Yeah. Make nothing. Time to fire up the scanning. Everything's on. I'm going to look under there, make sure nothing's leaking, should be fine. Penny already walked up his uh, tundra. Okay, we're going to go get a load of wood. I'm going to set my Martin trap over there. Boxes, this, a few boxes to check on the way, Ken. Yeah. Then we'll come back, and I guess we'll we might as well go down the river and get in, get out of the wind, eh? Yeah. It's a chilly, chilly day out there. Yeah. Found a nice spot here, nice and close, not too far. But I guess we better get out of here. I think it's around minus 55, and we'll go back to the cabin, have something to drink, I think, and uh, maybe we'll go check those five boxes on North Knife after.
just about 10 o'clock. We've been just watching hockey and kicking back. Yeah, drowning our sorrows after that Jets game. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that was a bit of a butt kicking there. Okay, he got his machine going, took a little bit, and he's going to be off in the probably next half hour or so, and we'll get back to our projects. It was a nice relaxing uh, couple days while he was here, and it's pretty freaking chilly out there this morning. Warmed up to minus 25, but he's still got a minus 50 wind chill, and the wind's on his back on the way home, so that's good. I just checked my machine over. There's no oil leak in there, so that's good. Thought I'd check it before Kenny took off. Never know. If it was leaking oil, I might have to get back to town, but it's nice and clean. Okay, he's just loading up now. Come and get his gun in that. So good in my hand there. Too. Oh, you're welcome. Enjoy that. Yeah, well, I'll enjoy the last sandwich with that one, and you um, left some stuff here. You want? I guess you don't want that stuff. So. No, I just took my yeah mustard and frozen mustard. Yeah, I already got all that stuff. some sheets of plywood on there and get my bed moved to the other side because uh, that's enough of that but I'll have to get some insulation from above first in the attic uh, there's some spots that uh, I have to cut the plastic by the window and peel it back and fix fix it in there uh, the squirrels are in there many years ago and I still haven't fixed it I haven't taped it off so I gotta, I gotta get that done. Just looking for screws on the wall. You can see here what I'm talking about has to be replaced. That was from years ago from the squirrels. I don't know why I haven't done this yet. Well, I think that's it for my bedroom for today. I did have been hanging a sheet. I just pushed it against the wall and pushed my bed over there. I gotta get that Martin done. That's more important. But it's finally nice to have my bed over there and not against this wall because this is warm from the stove. Right? And I like it cool when I sleep. And I'll wait for my rigid kit anyway in town. I keep forgetting to grab it, bring it out. And it's got my cordless saw and everything in there, so it won't take me long to throw those to throw the plywood up or the OSB. Yeah, it warmed up after he left. And as you can see by the trees, they're barely moving. 
There's hardly any wind out there now. So that's good. I mean, this is a lot. I stepped out there just to check it out, and it feels so much better when that. Of course, it's going to feel better when that wind chill goes away. size window that was in the storage room. I put it outside. But I'm gonna get it over by the shed. It takes up too much room in there. That's where the guests are supposed to sleep, a bunk bed in there. Even if you got the L shape done, the two walls, you know you could build it. Here. Well, that was exciting for a split second. That moose came between the trees here, heard the generator, and shot right back into the trees. And he hasn't come out since. Just enjoying some tea. And I always sit here and watch the last of the light. And a nice silver fox went by. Just caught him through the trees. When I sat down. Like that, it's time to go. It's freaking brutal out, but I can't spend any more time in here. Glasses. I always wear my watch when I go. It's 10 o'clock, let's wait until it's warmed up a bit. After I seen some tracks, I decided to stop over there and, you know, try to walk more, right? Feel better. And that was tiring walking from there to here. So, can you imagine if I broke down 40 kilometers from here? Oh my goodness. But I seen fresh Martin tracks. Thought I'd come and check them out. Went right across my trail. He's playing around over there. So they're around. We uh, we catch a few today. Nothing yet in the few boxes I checked. Martin tracks and boxes right there. And lots of fish in there. I checked. I can smell the lure. Oh man. Okay. Keep plugging away. I couldn't tell you. Well, I finally caught a Martin. I went down there and there's no bait in the box. I thought it'd be eaten. There was a fox all over here. Not too bad though. Hard to say. Small female. Oh, nice to Martin. Whew. I'll get a new trap in there and we'll continue on. You can see there's a fox peed on this tree here. Or oh, pretty fresh too. Let me check. Yeah, not that old a trap. I'm gonna say uh, yesterday at some point he was here. If not very early in the morning. 
got him in the 330 over there. Okay, new trap. New day. New attitude. We'll just plug away a little bit at a time this year. That's all I can do anyway. I'm just going to enjoy the rest of the time out here and if I get out more traps this year, I get out. You know what? There's worse places to be, that's for sure. Wolverine came out of there. And I got a 330 right there and a 120. That's how close it is sometimes. I looked in it, there's lots of bait. Yeah, just missed them. Well, I threw another 220 out. I felt there was lots of space between the other uh, 220s and 330s. So nice and uh, concealed there. Sometimes I conceal them, sometimes they're just sitting in the middle of the tundra. Just depends on the area I'm in. Well, I got some activity around, that's for sure. Wolverines, foxes, marten tracks. Things are moving now. Yeah, that's an old wolf track, but he came from uh, North Knife River and is heading east. Well, now we need 27, Martin. Oh, this one had a clip on it already. I see a little bit of the fish got caught in there. Another small female. Still, that's not very many Bartons for how long the traps have been out. But, at least it's Martin. Dink. Well, one good thing about today, lots of sign at least. There hasn't been uh, for some time. I couldn't believe there was hardly any tracks in that warm weather. That was really surprising. I seen uh, other, another set of Wolverine tracks. It seems too far to be his, or hers, the other one. And where I've seen those wolf tracks, I think uh, two more came out of the bush. 
So it's hard to say because they're blowing in. You don't know if he went out to the tundra, then walked back, and then walked back out again. But it seemed like uh, there was three and they fanned out. Oh, see what I mean? Minus 30, right out of the wind, it's fine. Lousy wind chill. Whew. Okay, I gotta get these off, that stinks. Okay, carry on. Need 27 mark now. That's my goal, <laughs> 30 martin for this year. And I thought it was a realistic goal, the way things are going and how I'm feeling. So I set a, another wolf trap on that big stump there. And a wolf came up and came from the tundra and went down. I'm pretty sure anyway, it's hard to tell. I seen his tracks down there on my river trail. It looked like he came down this trail, but very difficult to tell. But I threw one on there anyway. And he obviously didn't hit the other trap I have on the other end of this trail. So we're going to check that on the way out. We're going to start heading back, but on the Tundra Trail. And check all those boxes. Got another mark. Awesome. This time on the way home. out of the bush. Got him on the back leg. Look at that big male. Ho oh, ho. So we're gonna have to put another box here. Just that Otter Creek here. Decided to throw in another 330. Figured why not. That's a good looking set. Let's hope it produces a nice Wolverine. Okay, let's get back to camp. My hand never really warmed up from that last 330 I set. Oh! Man, I just want to get out of this gear now. Decent day. I wonder if this fire is still going. I doubt it. No. One little coal. That ain't going to do anything. Maybe another few 
humidifiers and I'll have to clean this box up. You can see the, uh, the gasket around the glass. And here's where it fell out around the door. Brand new too. So we'll get some more for next season. I don't know what time it is, 3 o'clock or so. Yeah. I'm just going to use stove oil, like I always do. Say it was middle of the night. Out right across here. 